Hi guys, my name's Yi Chow. Hey, I'm Roscoe. And we're gonna be doing an unboxing for you of Arch Enemy Nickel Bolas. This is a super fun product and we can't wait to share it with you so you can get a little bit more idea of what's in the box and you can share that excitement with your players. Arch Enemy Nico Bolas is an awesome three-on-one multiplayer experience. It's gonna be great for both your somewhat newer to the game Magic players and those who are more enfranchised. And if three-on-one doesn't sound quite fair, don't worry, there are scheme cards that help that one player have an even battle against a team of three. Each of those four players gets a 60 card deck. One of the players plays as Nico Bolas, the arch enemy, kind of magic supervillain, and the other three players get to play as members of the Gatewatch. Players will have a chance to play through the story of Hour of Devastation and see what happens to the plane of Amonkhet. Awesome, let's take a look at the box. So as you guys can see, we've chosen a really cool piece of key art here with Nicol Bolas raining down on the Gatewatch. And the idea here is to have a really eye-catching piece on your shelf to start generating some of that conversation and excitement about this product. Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas is an awesome magic multiplayer experience that plays just like a board game. So when it comes out of the box, it's gonna take about 30 minutes for your players to play and it can serve two to four players. As you open up the box, there's going to be a lot of contents here. We're going to go over the items with you one by one. So the first thing you're going to see is a package of all of the different deck boxes. Of course, you also have your three decks for the Gatewatch, Gideon, uh, Nyssa, and Chandra, all featuring new art for the Planeswalker cards themselves. You have your double-sided tokens as well as part of that. You're going to get 20 scheme cards featuring brand new art. And of course, the deck of the Arch Enemy himself, Nico Bolas, also featuring brand new art. And last but not least, the life counter for your arch enemy to track their life total. Let's take a look at our first deck. Yeah, so the first deck is uh, Gideon Jura, the mono white deck. Yeah, this is the original Gideon card, but now updated with awesome new art, the hollow stamp, and that new border. This deck has a kind of defensive theme. It works really well with the other members of the Gatewatch and uses that support mechanic. The deck has some awesome cards that your players are going to be really excited by. Sun Titan, Flicker Wisp, and Grand Abolisher. The next deck I want to talk about is Nyssa, one of the Gatewatch as well. And her deck features the card Nyssa World Waker, which is a mono green planeswalker. However, her deck has blue and green spells, reflecting the fact that she's learned blue spells in Amonkhet. The deck uses lands. That's its main strategy. And to make that work, you've got the landfall mechanic. There's a ton of cards in here your players are going to be very excited to see, such as Forgotten Ancient, Frag Tusk, and Rampaging Baloths. Let's take a look at the deck of the final member of the Gatewatch, Chandra Pyromaster. Chandra's deck is mono red, like its fiery leader, and it has an aggressive bent. So if you're playing with this deck, you want to be attacking. To make that all work, we've got the Bloodthirst mechanic packed in. And there's a ton of cards your players are going to be really excited about. We've got Grim Lava Mancer, Inferno Titan, and Obsidian Fireheart. Last but not least is Nico Bolas' deck. This deck features the iconic Planeswalker himself and is a black, red, blue deck all about destroying your opponent's permanence and stealing their creatures. This deck features some of the most iconic cards in Magic, including Lightning Bolt, Baleful Strix, Dreadbore, and my personal favorite, Cruel Ultimatum. Lots of fun for the caster, not so much for the opponents. Together, these four decks create an engaging and fun multiplayer experience. They're designed to work together well, so every time it's gonna be a different, unique, but fun experience. Also included in the box are double-sided tokens. We know that players love tokens, <laughs> I love tokens, <laughs> and these double-sided ones are pretty awesome. Uh, of course, we also have deck boxes so that you have something to house all your cards in. These deck boxes are pretty awesome. They feature the art of the Planeswalker on it, and they fit your cards even fully sleeved. Yeah, they snap together really easily. Just like that, you've got a ready-to-go deck box. And there's even a little icon for the Planeswalker. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. And of course, it's not Arch Enemy without the Scheme cards. And we have 20 brand new cards with associated brand new art for this product. Uh, this art is all featuring things from Hour of Devastation, so your players have the opportunity to play through the events of the main Magic storyline. You have cards like A Reckoning Approaches. With this card, you can summon a creature directly from your deck without having to pay its mana cost. You also have a scheme that allows you to find Nico Bolas and helps you to cast him so that he can arrive and wreak destruction personally. Plus, all of your scheme cards can fit in the box even fully sleeved. So if you're like me and you just leave every card that you touch, it'll totally fit in the box. Let's take a quick peek at the strategy insert. 
This features our great art, and it also has some rules for the game, information about setup. Also, we've got some sweet info about strategy, both for our Gatewatch players and the arch enemy, Nico Bolas. The final item in our box is the specialized life counter. It's a really beautiful item, and those numbers, they lock into place. It allows your arch enemy to go over 40 life. I'm pretty excited for this. You drop it down on a play mat, and it doesn't roll over. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in this box. I know for me, one of the things I'm most excited about is that you actually get to play the storyline of Hour of Devastation. You get to play as the Gatewatch battling this impossible foe, or you get to play as the supervillain destroying everything in your wake. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really thrilled about the contents of this box. You've got your four 60 card decks, four iconic Planeswalkers with brand new art, and to boot, you've got deck boxes, double-sided tokens, the specialized life counter, and 20 brand new schemes featuring all new art from Hour of Devastation story. It's a lot of stuff packed into one really great game and a really great experience. We can't wait for your players to get a chance to play it and to see the stuff on your shelves. Thanks so much for joining us today.